Hello, this is Speedrun and this will be the best tutorial you ever find on how to make sprites for Ragnarok Online. Let's get started. You will need this sprite sheet and packer and you will need to extract the NFC from your GRF. So let's extract and we just select the folder. You need the act and SPR file. Okay, now we don't need the GRF and what we need to do is to open the sprite sheet and packer. Okay, you can find the link for the act editor and this sprite sheet and packer on the description below. I drag and drop the sprite and I'll make full screen so you can see better. And I select one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have a total of seven sprites. You can see that there is a line in between them. So it's easier to cut. And now I will go down here and export. Okay, once it's exported, we don't need this program. Okay, now we open our sample of Sprite. Okay. Now that we have here, we can start the work. So let's Let's select all our seven sprites. Drag here, drop. Okay. What we need to do next is to go and convert them. Let's make this full screen. Okay. Middle mouse button, right click. Um, let's convert this to index 8 and say OK. But we can apply to all items, otherwise we need to do one by one like this. So next time I go here and click, it's already converted. And we can remove that background. Perfect, perfect, and perfect. We have here the positions. And we start with the front position. And it's an idle because this is NFC. And now we can go ahead and change this. We could say this is sprite number two. Zero, one, and two. So if I go a little bit to the side, zero, one, and two. Okay, so it's sprite number two. And we can drag down and position where do you think is good. I think about here is perfect. So we can remember this, two minus three, and minus 27. So let's go ahead and go this side and say 2 minus 3 and minus 27. And we have the exact same. There is another way to do it. How? I can control C and let's say this is facing that way. If I change to sprite number 2 is already perfect, it's facing that way, but how? Because it's mirror, okay? And this isn't. So let's say I want to delete this, or I can come here and click, right click and delete, okay? And now I can just control V, as I have copied from here. And here I will mirror, okay? Now you can see it's not aligned like this one. Why is that? Because once it's mirrored, it's not minus three anymore, and it is three. Instead. Now we have here already this. Okay. Here will be the same thing, so I can Ctrl C, and here delete layer, and Ctrl V. We already have this, so fast. What is the sprite of the back? It's here, number 8. So we need to change the sprite to number 8. And we need position again. So we click on the sprite and position. Okay, so I believe about here will be cool. And about, about here. We are going, going to test in game afterwards, so let's keep this and we can Ctrl C 
Let's delete this and copy it. Okay, let's delete this and let's mirror and make four. Okay. And here we can copy again. Delete this. We need to right click here and delete. Okay, we already have this very nice setup. We can go ahead and save, but look at that. Press save and come to the folder, refresh, still showing this right. We can just come here and delete it or remove it. And now we can save. And when we refresh, or is already red there? Now is our new sprite. Perfect. Let's go ahead and animate it. So how to do that? We go to frame and add frame to and just click OK. Now we have two frames. On the second frame, I'll choose sprite number one. And you can see it moved, so pay attention to that. If move, you can just come here and adjust. So now it's minus two instead of minus three. Okay, perfect. And you can see frame and add frame two is Ctrl T. So we're going to use that Ctrl T. And now we need to add until five, number five right here. Okay, number five. Great. So we have here the first animation, and we change again the sprite to number two. But why isn't three? Because it starts from zero. Zero, one. Two, three, four, five, and six. So the six is our back sprite, so we just count six sprites. And we have here six, zero, one, two, three, four, five, which is a total of six. Okay. And now we're going to the next animation. This is sprite number two. The next one will be sprite number three, sprite number four, and sprite number five. And now if you click play, you can see it's playing perfect. Amazing. And now we can replicate. So let's first control T. Okay? And let's put sprite number 2. And perfectly, it didn't move at all, which is good. And now we can control T. Okay, control T, okay, control T, okay. See, that's the easy work. We have here sprite 1, 2. And this should be 3, and this should be 4, and this should be 5, and this should be... Uh, yeah, so let's see. 0, 1, ah, this should be spine number 1. Okay. And this should be spine number 2. Let's change that. 3, 4, 5. You can see that? Perfect. And now we have here a red animated in this angle and this angle. Let's just quick do here. You can come here and copy and paste, but I think it would be just easier to control T at the frame. And now be sprite number one. And it moved. Um, then we control T again until we see five frames. Okay. So one, two. And this should be two here. This should be two here. This should be four. And this should be five. By the way, you can also add sounds here. Um, but that's mostly used for mobs. Okay. So we already have the animation here. That's almost done already. So now we have here sprite number one. Let's give a save. Always good to save. And okay, this is animated, animated, animated. This is not yet animated. Let's control T and sprite number one. Control T, sprite number two. Control T, sprite number three. Control T. And now it's by number four. And there is one more by number. We actually have animated the whole 
character description. Here has no animation. And here has an image. Okay, so only one frame here is an image. And that's done. Now we can test it in game. And I will see you in a bit. Okay, we are now in game. And we are going to check the NPC. And here we have it! So fast, so easy. And I like the way he, he's placing here. Basically he has one feet on the table. Very nice, very nice. And this one is standing on the chair. But I really like this. And he's going a bit for the quest. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is a speed run. And peace out.